All right, guys, this is Jerry back with that Theatrically Jerry. I just wanted to share with you guys I have implemented a secondary screen for the Victory 3 by code. Um, as you know, it doesn't have an external monitor out, so I did have to do a workaround. I am currently using a OLED display. This is a 15.6 inch monitor, and I have it simply attached to a stand behind my Victory 3 and then you need to screw in your Wi-Fi antenna on the back of your Victory 3 and then you need to download Code's remote app and connect to it and now you have a secondary screen which you can do everything on this screen that you can do on this screen. For instance, we can go over here to our fixture layout and it's going to display all of my fixtures you zoom out here, there's my fixture layout. It's just in a linear line because I haven't actually started a show yet. But you can, I'm going to hit clear. It's going to clear off the remote as well. You can zoom in here and select any of your fixtures you want. You do need a touchscreen monitor, by the way, if you're going to do this. But as you can see, I selected four fixtures here and four fixtures down here have been highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and clear out. And you can also select just one fixture if you want. Hit attributes. And this is going to show all of my attributes so I can actually control them with this dial. And it's going to update down here, as you can see, live. And there's really no lag. so. Um, it's very useful. And then all of your attributes are over here on the side. We have our gobo, our color wheel, um, etc. Some other things you can do, you can select your fixtures, just like it shows here. They're up here. You can also select your groups. So I have my groups here. I got my groups here. The only thing that I found you can't do right now is workspace and perhaps code will write that into the app. Um, it would be nice to be able to just do a make your own workspace here, but you can't. There is a store button up here so you can hit this and it's going to do a quick save. Um, right here are my presets for this specific fixture, so it's basically showing me my gobos as well as my prism and um, my wash that I can do with this light fixture in particular. So it's showing me my static gobos as well as my glass gobos because I did save them as presets and they are images, so I can quickly select one. We do have our playback. Here's our playback page right here. I'm on playback page one. You can page up and page down with this button here. And it's going to do it live here if you didn't notice. So page two, page two. Like I said, there's really no lag um, on this. And it's a great workaround because the Victory 3 doesn't have an external monitor output. But this is just as good. I haven't had any problems with it. Here's my macro shows. I do not have any. Here's my show lists. I also don't have any of these stored because I'm not doing a show currently. And we're back to our layout here. And you can zoom in on your fixture layout. You can also switch from the images to showing you what light is on. So this is going to show you the color of the light as well as the intensity. Right now they're all at zero. Let's go back to here. You can also select all fixtures or different areas. Right now I'm in all fixtures because I don't have any um, other areas right now. And we're going to go ahead and bring that back. So that's a full view of all of my current fixtures that I've programmed into the Victory 3 at my fingertips. You can also, of course, use your console at the same time. So if I select a fixture here, 
it's going to select it up here. So there is your workaround for an external monitor. Now let's go ahead and just do a close up so you guys can kind of see the layout of um, Code's remote app. All right, so as promised, I'm going to give you guys a close up of Code's remote app. So the first menu is our command line. That's going to be the same as using a numerical keypad. Um, the next one is attributes. So this is going to show you all of the attributes for your light fixture that you have selected or your group. The next menu is fixtures. You're going to be able to select all of your fixtures. And as you can see, Victory 3 can hold a lot of fixtures. I believe over 800, I think close to 900 fixtures it can store. So these are just the ones I have stored right now. Here's my groups. Here's my presets all built in. My playbacks, I do not have any. Like I showed earlier, you can page up and page down. You can also hit these buttons here. And it's going to select playback eight right now. And you can bring up the fader for eight, but there's nothing programmed into it currently. You can go to macro shows. Right now, I do not have any programmed. You can also go to your show lists. I do not have any programmed as well. I actually really don't have anything programmed. I'm more focusing on just getting the fixtures into um, my Victory 3 and also getting all of the images correct for the gobos as well as the fixture profile images. So just focusing on that. I'm not focusing on playbacks or cues or anything. Um, your very last one is your fixture layout like I showed you and you can zoom in here and you can zoom over and if you want to focus on all of them you can go ahead and hit this this little button up here in the corner if you select it let me zoom in it's going to show you your universes as well as um, your DMX address. And there's just a little button up here above the plus um, on the left side when you're zooming. If you select it, it's going to show you that. You can also deselect it. You can also hit this gear and it's going to show you all of your lights in a different view. It's going to look like a little spotlight. And right now they're all at zero, so nothing's on. So um, the spotlights are black. However, when you do bring up your dimmer and a certain color, it's going to show that color. And the higher up your dimmer, the brighter this little um, spotlight's going to be for those fixtures. So I think that's something cool. Just another view of all of the fixtures here. Maybe something um, code can fix here is that it's not showing the DMX address when you're looking at it this way. It's just showing the fixture number. So you can view the DMX address this way, but you can't view it this way. So they might want to update that in their uh, updates. Let's see if it does it on the console. Um, yes, you, you can't view the DMX address on the console um, in that view. You can only view it in the picture view. So that's kind of weird. I'm selecting them on 
the victory three and they're highlighting up here instantly there is no lag when connected to the remote app so you don't have to worry about lag um, that's something you don't want when you're doing a show and you're not going to get it with the code remote app because it was built specifically for this console and when you're connected you're directly connected to it via Wi-Fi right now I have my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra plugged into this touchscreen monitor here and on the Dex OS app I selected code remote that's how you're seeing this so you don't have to do just code remote you can go ahead and go back to your desktop and you can select anything you want from there so you don't have to select that I also have Blizzard's um, socket software that's also installed on here so I can control my lights through um, Blizzard's console as well so technically I have two lighting consoles here I can load up Blizzard and now I have Blizzard's lighting console loaded go into my patches and look at those as well so yeah technically I have two consoles running right now anyways thank you guys for watching this really short tutorial thank you guys for watching this short tutorial on the code victory 3 light controller um, I did want to get the information out to you guys. There is a way to get a secondary screen on your console So you don't have to worry about only having the main screen here. You can actually be running two screens and they are Both synced together. However, they are also both separate. So we're not mirroring the screen. We're actually creating a secondary display. So this isn't screen mirroring it's creating a secondary display. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this little short tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy stuff like this, stage lighting, DJ lighting, atmospherics, equipment, go ahead and follow my channel, at Theatrically Jerry. If you have any questions about any of Code's consoles, go ahead and write them down below. I do respond to all questions and comments as quickly as I can. Um, I can help you out a little bit with uh, codes consoles. The Victory 3 and the Victory 5 are very similar, so um, if you do have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Thank you guys for watching.